To improve your Wi-Fi speed, the first step you'll need to take is to determine the speed you are paying for from your internet service provider, or ISP. This information can be found on your ISP's online account or sometimes on your billing statement and is listed as download and upload speed. This crucial number will help you determine the expected speed from your wireless router. Although keep in mind that the actual Wi-Fi speed will not be the exact same as the listed speed, but should be at least 75% of it. For an accurate speed test, you can visit speedtest.net on your computer or phone and click go. Within about 10 seconds, you'll receive a download speed and an upload speed, both measured in megabits per second, or MBPS. Compare these numbers to the speed you pay for, and if possible, conduct the test again with a computer that is hardwired to the modem or modem router combo to get your exact speed. I also recommend running the test twice back to back. It is also a good practice to unplug your modem and router, wait for 60 seconds before plugging them back in, and then check your Wi-Fi and hardwired speed after doing this to see if there are any improvements in speed. The next thing to check to improve your Wi-Fi speed is to consider the placement of your router in your home or apartment. Often, routers are placed on one side of the house while the office or living room where Wi-Fi is most used is located on the other side of the house, resulting in the waste of a significant amount of Wi-Fi speed. If feasible, it's recommended to position the modem and router as centrally as possible in your home. However, keep in mind that factors like walls, other electronic devices, and building materials in the home can affect the signal. So, it's advisable to place the router as close as possible to the area where it will be used the most. If you rent your modem from your ISP, it may be worth checking to see if an upgrade is available. You can do this through your ISP account page or by calling your ISP. If you purchased one from a store and it has been more than three years, it would be a good idea to upgrade it as well. Ask an associate at a store such as Best Buy what they recommend. It's a good idea to write down the brand and model of the device you currently have for reference. Your Wi-Fi may be putting out two different bands, indicated by 2.4 or a 5 at the end of your network name. If either is not listed, there's a good chance you have a self-organized network, which combines both of these bands into one and devices can auto-detect which band is the fastest. The 2.4 band goes further at a slower speed, and the 5 band is shorter but with more speed. If your device is connected to the 2.4 band, try switching to the 5 band. Typically, they have the same password. You may notice a significant difference in speed. The 2.4 and 5 bands also apply to range extenders. If you have a range extender in the home and are using it on a certain device, check and see if the 5 is available when you are currently using the 4. If you liked this video, please leave a comment below and let me know if it helped your Wi-Fi issues. Also, please like and subscribe.